Just over two decades ago, Manchester City were fighting for promotion from the third tier of English football. The club's story since then has been remarkable, even for three men who played their own roles in the City Rise. In 99, let me try and think where I was in 99. What would I have been? 17, I think I was just making my debut when you were scoring that goal. Cheers, mate. <laughs> that makes me feel really old, doesn't it? <laughs> Looking back then, do you think you could have ever imagined what that goal would have meant? No, not a hope. To win the game and then to find out afterwards the situation the club was in um, was a scary thing. You know, we knew it was important to get out the division for the fans, for the club and for players ourselves. It started dripping out that if we hadn't won that game, the administration, probably liquidation. You know, the Champions League finals and Saturday the 29th. Playoff final was May the 30th, so it'll be 22 yeah. years to the exact day. And wow. You see the club where they've where come from now, it's just amazing, unbelievable. It's surreal, isn't it? Moving into the, the Etihad as it is now, mm -hmm. It was like so weird, <laughs> so weird because you're just used to Main Road, which is yeah, yeah. 100 years old, full Compact of history. And that, yeah. You see all these fancy stadiums on the on the TV, and the next thing is like, wow, this yeah. is class. And it was, um, yeah, it, it, it's weird because everything's every step along the way is like another step to where to where it is now, and it just it seemed like the club had gone from a yo-yo club to a club that was a mid-table club, which. Where does it go from there? Yeah. Sort of thing. And then... It just went quick into the top tier. Yeah. So when the, the investment in 2008 came in, it was like being a, a normal team who nobody really was interested in <laughs> to being on the back page of every newspaper. But then it was the stories of what they're going to do for the club, what they're going to do for the city, what yeah. they're going to do for everything about Manchester City. To see that just literally players coming in and just... Anyone is linked to you, you know it was real. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't speculation, was it? It was like, oh, that, that could happen. That literally <laughs> yeah. could happen. Anyone could arrive through the doors. Yeah. We signed Gail Clichy, um, Sergio and Samia Nasri. And I was more excited about Gail and Samia yeah. because I knew I knew them. Yeah. That was Arsenal and then, I mean, I, I knew who Sergio was, but I didn't know. Yeah, you're weakening your, your rivals as well. Yeah, and, Arsenal yeah. and, and I'm thinking, players. we've got Carlos, so as good as Sergio is, yeah. yeah. We've got Carlos Tevez. <laughs> I mean, so we're that good. And then he comes and it was just like... He, for me, is the, the catalyst for it all. Yeah. He's the one that changes them from being a good side to being a, a world-beaten yeah. team. I, I don't believe whatever they achieve, someone will have an impact. No. Like Sergio. Even at the start of, like, the Champions League, I mean, what is it, Napoli, the first game? I remember all the lads that I played in the Champions League saying, when you, when you hear that music. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when we got out there and I heard it, I was like looking over to the bench like, Whoa. <laughs> it's nice, that. It's nice, yeah, it's a nice feeling, that. The movement, I just remember thinking, yeah, that they're a little bit sharper with their... It's like next it's, level. Yeah. yeah. It's a different level. It's higher than internationals because it's all the internationals. Yeah. We were part four, it was a different format then, so we were like getting in the Champions League part four, so we were the team that everybody wanted to face. Top teams, yeah. yeah. because we had no, we had minimal experience, the club had no experience. No, and only, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and only a few players had played in there. And then now the lads are in part, part one. Yeah. Getting all these teams and like, yeah, get, give this. Smashing them all over the place, <laughs> isn't it? It's getting that groups. experience of winning games though, isn't it? Yeah, and and yeah, understanding yeah. how, like, how to win an FA Cup, how to win the Premier League, how then to win points in yeah, the Champions League. Yeah, big occasions, you gotta... You see it with the lads now, like, you've seen them progress and domestically they dominate, but it's different in Champions League. The, the level of player is the same. Yeah. So it's experience counts for, for a lot more when we are on the same level. I think experience in the last couple of years, disappointment in going out. Yeah. I think that showed massively in the Dortmund in the PSG yeah. game. Yeah, oh yeah. Diaz has made a big difference in it, to be fair. He looks like he enjoys it. He's been brilliant. I think the team in the last, say, five seasons in the Champions League, they've gone out because of individual errors. Mm. And this team doesn't make them. Yeah. And certainly him being the player he's been, he's just 
almost eradicated it from everything. It's mad, isn't it? Because you're not allowed to make mistakes anymore. Yeah, just and doing that's a the job. thing. Where, like, you know, Donny, when, when I, people ask me about it, I'm saying, as a centre back, he's not doing anything anyone can't do. He just does it all the time. His decision making is spot on every time. But I think that's sometimes what's missing because everyone speaks about the manager and how good the football is. Sometimes you just need that bit of steel and that bit of grit in your team as well. Yeah. I think he's, he's brought it in. What do you think, man? I'm going on the hope that no one gets the bit of a pep three times within a month. Yeah. Like, if he does, then it's exceptional. But, uh, yeah. I mean, and they haven't played our best system or no. current no. best system. We've... I think that's massive. Yeah. I just think we're going to be too good for them. Yeah. I'll probably get battered for saying that. But mm -hmm. I think not just the team, but the character and that will to win and putting their bodies in the line that we've seen against PSG especially. Yeah. yeah. They, they want it so badly, don't they? Yeah. Um, and I think that's going to be the difference.